Hola amigos. So, today is another week that I, again, no, I don't do that more often. To, to be honest, I, this is actually a restart. I I got a text, and so it kind of wrecked the whole thing. I was at five minutes in, <laughs> I had to restart entirely. I'm like, ah, but no, oh, not a big deal, whatever, it happens. Anyways, so today's thought of the week is about, I'm going to say this, I'm not from here. You're not from here, unless you're, you live in Mexico, you live in Europe, and you're like purebred Italian, and you're purebred like you, that, that's different. But everyone who lives in Canada and the States, I wouldn't really say Mexico, unless you know, everyone in Canada and the United States, you're technically an immigrant because I'm technically an immigrant because I'm, I have, I'm a half Salvadorian and like a quarter Ukrainian and a French. So technically, I'm an immigrant. Deep, like, by blood, deep blood. But technically, that counts for ev pretty much everybody who lives in Canada and the United States. Unless you're Native American, so you're deep blood. If you're, like, because that's, that, it, by history shows, the first people that to live in Canada and the United States, well, maybe Mexican, in the United States, though, or Aztec, I don't know, but it's deep blood. Not immigrant, technically. So, and I'm gonna ref, so, the fact, you know, and so I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make a reference. The reason why I'm talking, this came up as a thought of the week, is the whole Don Cherry thing. It's people are like, oh, I side with him because, yeah, he's 100% right. S -s no, he's not 100%. He's a percentage right, yes. But the way he worded it, no, because it's saying, he was, by saying you people, in the history of saying you people, has that n never been appropriate? And right, it's being racist and ignorant. Sorry, I said it, my nose was itchy. Itch, itch. But like, I get it. Yeah, when when people come into to Canada, they come into the United States from another country. Yes, of course, they should respect that. There are people who died for us. There are people who went to war, and we should they should wear the poppy. But that goes for everybody. There are even people who live in Canada, who again probably immigrant because again the deep blood thing, who don't wear the poppy. I got a poppy. Yeah, I keep it kept falling off my jacket, and I don't even know where it went because the stupid thing kept falling off my jacket every time I hang it up and then put it on again. I'm like, wait, where did it go? And the last last time I couldn't find it, but I still I got one because you need to respect the veterans of what they did because they would do it again. There's been many veterans who've been talked to and they said, yeah, we do it again. So you need to respect you need to respect that. So the fact that he the way he worded it. It was racist. It was disrespectful. He could, instead of, he should, because again, you're on live TV. You should just say, people, when people come into the country, or people are of this country, whatever, they, they live here, you live here, you should respect and honor and wear the poppy. Because there's so many people that just don't. It doesn't matter if they're from another country or not. They have always lived in Canada, or they came to Canada from another country entirely. Like, so the, so that was the thing that it's like that's what I, I'm like Don Cherry you stupid like get out but I get where he's coming from but he he's being ins insensitive he's being in he's not being respectful and so that's and people are and again this is the air of the butthurt so everyone's getting butthurt about oh he shouldn't get uh, like uh, it's like people you're not understanding what's wrong with what he said. There's right with what he said, but there's a lot of wrong too. And like, if he's in the, you're in the limelight, you need to. I get he's old, and so he probably he might be losing his mind. I don't know, but you need to, people under, need to understand that if you're in the limelight. You need to be careful what you say. To, and I'm gonna get faith based here. Uh, again, you don't have to. Some people will like my opinion. Some people don't. But again, this is my thought of the week. If you don't like it, I'm not offended by it. I don't care. That's your your thing, whatever. But we're not of here because we're of heaven. Like we were created by God. He put us here and in our image, and we've lost sight of that. So many people have lost sight of true Christianity, true, you know, being of his, his children. We were made of love. And I, that makes me think of, like, that's something I just watched, Dan Muller based. If you don't know who... 
Dan Miller is and you're a believer, you you know, all this kind of stuff, I highly recommend him. Highly watch him. Like he my dad I he he is the most like true Christian I've ever one of the truest Christians besides my dad I've ever encountered. Like it's oh but anyways so that that is another also note we're not of here we're not of this earth you know and I don't I don't even call myself human I know my, my dad is he thinks it's ridiculous when I talk like that but I don't like to associate myself with humans that's a whole other thing but you need to respect that we're all we all bleed the same color we all we all cry, we all laugh, we all die. Our physical bodies die. So, like, just, it's ridiculous. So I, I get why they let, they were like, get out, Don. I get it, but like, again, this whole immigrant thing, we're all immigrants, technically. So just stop it. And if you have, if you want to talk, you have, you want to, one-on-one talking about it, but not, like, respectfully, calmly, appropriately, like a conversation, not an argument, fine. I'm, you're more than welcome to talk to me about it. I, I'm, I'm an, you know, I like talking, I like conversation. I'm okay with it. If you're gonna get mad at me and pissy and like, like berate me and like be negative towards me, then get out. Like, I'm not gonna take that. Like, come on. So, you know, that is my thought of the week. Adios.